हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ तिवारी फ्रॉम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द मॉड्यूल दैट इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कानेटिक पैरामीटर्स यूजिंग लाइन वीवर ब्रॉक प्लॉट इडी हॉप्सटी प्लॉट एंड स्केचर प्लॉट दिस मॉड्यूल हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम पेपर molecular enzymology and protein engineering the different kinetic parameters such as km vmax and other kinetic parameters are determined by different methods so in this module we will also discuss how the different methods are derived what are the different plots and how we can determine the different kinetic parameters using those plots so this module is divided into following sections first we will have a introduction about enzyme kinetic parameters and then we will discuss how you can derive the different kinetic equations like line weaver plot ed hopsty plot sketcher plot we will also discuss about how we can determine the different kinetic parameter using these plots at the same time we will also point out what are the different other methods that is available such as hence plot wolf plot and other plots what are the different methods that are used to determine kinetic parameter the first method is line weaver brock plot the second is ed hopsty plot the third is sketcher plot and fourth is hence wolf plot and fifth is dickson plot so in this module we will discuss details of line weaver plot ed hopsty plot and sketcher plot and equations that are used to derive these plots are same and that is meckles menten equation so you can say that meckles menten equation is used to derive all these equations which are used to determine kinetic parameter line weaver equation is described by line weaver and brock in 1934 this plot is also known as reciprocal plot because in line weaver equation we have two reciprocal values that is 1 by v0 and 1 by s that is used to make line weaver plot so line weaver equation is 1 by v0 equals to km by vmax into 1 upon substrate concentration plus 1 by vmax where v0 is initial velocity km is a meckles menten constant vmax is a maximum velocity s is substrate concentration in this line weaver equation considered to be a straight line equation then y axis is 1 by v0 x axis is 1 by s intercept is 1 by vmax and slope is km by vmax how you can derive line weaver equation from meckles menten equation what is meckles menten equation so meckles menten equation is v0 equals to vmax into substrate concentration divided by km plus substrate concentration so if you are taking reciprocal of meckles menten equation it becomes 1 by v0 equals to km by vmax plus substrate concentration and substrate is also present in the denominator so the equation is 1 by v0 is equal to km plus s divided by vmax into s when you solve this this equation is converted into another equation and that is 1 by v0 is equal to km by vmax into substrate concentration plus substrate concentration divided by vmax into s 
S can be cancelled. Therefore, the final equation of line V work is 1, which is 1 by V0 is equal to Km by V max into 1 by substrate concentration plus 1 by V max. And this is a straight line equation. So you can equate it with y is equal to mx plus c line we work plot is a plot of line we work equation so if line we work equation which is 1 by v0 is equal to km upon v max into 1 upon s plus 1 by v max is equals to a straight line equation then y is equals to 1 by v0 slope is equals to km by v max x axis is equals to 1 by substrate concentration and intercept is equals to 1 by v max so when we are plotting x axis with respect to y axis that is when we are plotting 1 by s and x axis and 1 by v0 on y axis then we will have line viewer plot which is look like this plot. You can see that on the x axis we have 1 0, 1 by s, and y axis we have 1 by v0. And its intercept on the y axis gives information about 1 by v max. Its x axis intercept gives information about minus 1 by km, and its slope give information about km by v max the one important point we have to remember here is that minus 1 by km doesn't represents negative value of minus 1 by km it is only representing that minus 1 by km is before 0 for example if minus 1 by km has a value of minus 2 then minus 1 by km and minus 2 if you make both equals both the minus get cancelled so 1 by km is equals to 2 so therefore that negative sign which is written before minus 1 by km you can ignore it so enzyme as you know they enhances rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction and different kinetic parameters play significant role in enzyme kinetics so we have four kinetic parameters they are important for enzyme kinetics the first one is mechalis menten constant that is denoted by km the second is maximum velocity that is denoted by v max and third one is turnover number that is denoted by k cat fourth one is efficiency constant that is denoted by k cat by km so, KM gives information about binding affinity of substrate with the enzyme. Vmax gives information about maximum velocity of the reaction. KCAT gives information about rate of product appearance as well as KCAT by KM give information about overall efficiency of the reaction. When we are talking about normal mechalis menten equation, where we have plot, mechalis menten plot, where V0 is plotted versus substrate concentration, and that curve is hyperbolic. So, been, within a hyperbolic curve, it is very di difficult to determine the Vmax of the reaction. And if it is difficult to determine Vmax, then Km is also difficult to determine because Km is the substrate concentration that is required to achieve half of the Vmax. To facilitate the determination of kinetic parameter, what we can do, we have to use plots that is based on linear forms of the different equations. Therefore, in the present module, we will discuss about different methods which are used to determine kinetic parameters by using 
linear form of the different equations. What is the limitation of line viewer plot? Although line viewer plot is one of the mainly used plot of an, to study enzyme kinetics, but it also has some limitation. Three major limitation are there for a line viewer plot. The first limitation is because line viewer plot is a plot of reciprocal values 1 by s and 1 by v0 that is 1 by substrate concentration and 1 by initial velocity. So the y axis is reciprocal to the initial velocity that is v0. Hence, if there is a small mistake in the calculation of v0, then it get amplified when you are reversing it. And there is a chances of doing mistakes in the lower concentration of substrate. Because at lower substrate concentration, you are calculating the initial velocity, which is again very lower. So the second limitation of this plot is when there is an equal increment in the substrate concentration that yield equal space point in velocity and substrate plot that is meckles menten plot. But when we are talking about line weaver plot, there is a no equally space point in that plot. Hence, the reciprocal of the substrate concentration clusters at the axis of 1 by v0. Therefore, at the lower substrate concentration, that means its reciprocal is higher, will have more effect on the plot. Compare, if you discuss both the point, you will find that we have more chances to do the mistakes in calculating the velocity at lower substrate concentration, but because of reciprocal values used in the line viewer plot, the lower velocity have more impact on the plot. Therefore, you have more chance to do mistakes in line viewer plot when you perform the experiment of line viewer equations or calculating the line viewer equations. In continuation, to the first two points, the third point is when you are performing a line weaver plot, then the substrate concentration which is chosen are very close to the Km value of a particular enzyme. When substrate concentration is much less than Km, the velocity of reaction is approximately proportional to the substrate concentration and the rate of reaction is going to be the first order. This result into the curve with intercept on both axes close to its origin which allows mistakes in the determination of Vmax and Km. But when substrate concentration is much greater than the Km, the velocity is constant and equals to the Vmax. In that conditions, the rate of reaction is independent to the substrate concentration and is said to be in zero order. In the zero order kinetics, the rate of reaction is totally independent to the substrate concentration, while in the first order, it is directly proportional. So, this will allow your Vmax to determine, but because we do not have any slope there, it is very difficult to determine the Km. Therefore, if you see the limitation of this plot, the first limitation have effect of lower substrate concentration and its velocity, which is more. The second limitation is you have to choose your substrate concentration close to the Km. But the main problem is 
if you don't know the km of an enzyme then how you will select substrate concentration close to the km so for that what we are doing is we we have to select we have to take some homologous enzyme and see what is the km value of it and perform our experiment using the substrate concentration which is close to that km if it is not known or your enzyme is novel then you have to play with the substrate concentration to find which substrate concentration is going to be chosen for better determination of kinetic parameters using line weaver plot as you can see from line weaver plot the main problem of line weaver plot is their reciprocal values so to solve the limitation you have to solve the problem of line weaver plot few other plots are developed one such plot is ed hopsty plot ed hopsty plot is also known as ulf ed angsten hopsty plot or ed angstensen's plot so ed hopsty plot is a graphical representation of enzyme kinetics where the velocity is plotted as a function of ratio between velocity and substrate concentration as similar to the line weaver plot we can also derive ed hopsty plot from mckellis menten equation so the mckellis menten equation that is v0 is equal to v max into s upon km plus s if you invert and multiply this mckellis menten equation with the v max then the equation become v max divided by v0 equals to v max in the bracket km plus s and it's divided by v max into s if you solve this you will find that v max v max toward the right side get cancel and the equation become v max divided by v0 is equals to km plus substrate concentration divided by substrate concentration after rearrangement and multiplying with the v0 the equation become v max is equal to v0 into km divided by substrate concentration plus v0 into substrate concentration divided by substrate concentration if you remove the substrate concentration towards the right side because they are present in nominator and denominator then your equation become v max is equal to v0 into km divided by substrate concentration plus v0 if you rearrange it then the final ed hopsty equation become v0 is equal to minus km into v0 upon s plus v max as you know that we are working with the plots where we are going to use straight line equations so if you equate your ed hopsty plot with the straight line equation then you will find that your y is equals to v0 m is equals to minus km x is equals to v0 by s and c is equals to v max because ed hopsty equation is a straight line equation so when you equate it with the straight line equation and when you plotting the ed hopsty equation in a graph then you will have the plot where y axis which is v0 and x axis is v0 by s is plotted and the y axis intercept give you information about v max x axis intercept give you information about v max by km and slope give you information about km so if you want to calculate 
the kinetic parameter using this plot then you have to perform an experiment where you are going to increase the substrate concentration and you are monitoring the product formation per unit time and that is representing the velocity so you are monitoring the velocity of the reaction which is increasing along with the substrate increase so we have substrate concentration we have velocity so we are making both axes from that value so the velocity itself is behaving like y axis value and x axis value we are calculating by dividing a respective velocity by its substrate concentration so we have set of values where the x axis is having velocity divided by substrate concentration and y axis is having velocity plot by using these two values then we will have the ed hopsty plot where you can determine the km you can determine the vmax and if you know the km and vmax then you can determine the kcat and this plot also give you direct vmax by km value which is not present in other plot or that is present in other form after discussion of line weaver limitation and ed hopsty plot the other groups have developed the ed sketched plot ed sketched plot can be derived directly from ed hopsty equation which is derived itself from meckles menten equation so you can say that ed hopsty is derived from meckles menten and it is sketched is derived from ed hopsty so indirectly it is sketched is also derived from meckles menten equation ed hopsty equation that is v0 is equals to minus km into v0 upon substrate concentration plus vmax if you divide ed hopsty equation by km then it become v0 by km equals to minus km by km into v0 by s plus v max by km so if you see the equation right side the km and km get cancelled so the equation become v0 divided by km equals to minus v0 by substrate concentration plus v max by km if you rearrange this equation you will find that v0 by s is equals to minus 1 by km into v0 plus v max by km and this equation is known as ed sketched equation and again this is a linear equation so you have to equate this ed sketched equation with y is equal to mx plus c where y is equal to v0 upon substrate concentration x is equals to v0 slope is equals to minus 1 by km and intercept is equals to v max by km ed sketched equation is used to make ed sketched plot as it is a straight line equation so you can plot y axis that is v0 by s versus x axis that is v0 and this plot shows you that we will have y axis intercept and that is v max by km x axis intercept that is v max and slope give you information about minus 1 by km the interesting point here is if you compare ed sketched plot with hopsty plot you will find that the axis x axis and y axis are changed with each other therefore in ed hopsty plot we will have v0 by s on x axis while in the ed sketcher it is present on the y axis at the same time in the ed hopsty plot we have the x axis of 
v0 by s but here in the id sketcher plot we have x axis of v0 and that leads to the change in the value of slope also in id sketcher plot we have slope value of minus 1 by km so if you want to calculate km we have to have the reversal of this slope while in the eddy hopsty plot we have direct minus km although eddy sketcher plot is useful to determine kinetic parameter su such as km vmax k cat by km but eddy sketcher equations is further developed to calculate the interaction affinity of biomolecule with its ligand so the id sketcher equation which is used for enzyme kinetics is modified into the another equation that is also known as id sketcher equation but that is used to determine the affinity of a biomolecule to its ligand and that equation is known as and it is written as sb divided by sf is equals to minus 1 by ks into sb plus net divided by ks the interesting point if you compare this id sketched plot which is used to determine interaction between biomolecule and ligand with the id sketched equation which is used for enzyme kinetic reaction you will see that in eddy sketcher plot used for enzyme kinetics we will always have came there while eddy sketcher plot which is used to determine biomolecule ligand interaction they are having ks if you remember one thing because in biomolecule ligand interaction we will never have any product formation so therefore it is following equilibrium model while enzyme always produces products so they are following steady state model hence you can see the difference here at the same time if you compare this equation with the equation which is used in the enzyme kinetics you will find that the bound form of the substrate that is represented by sb with the concentration of bound ligand what is meaning of this bound ligand in the enzyme it is a basically the concentration of enzyme sites which is occupied by the substrate and the second one is sf that is concentration of free ligand which is indicating the concentration of the substrate net is representing the total concentration of ligand binding sites while n is a number of independent ligand bind site per molecule of enzyme and ks is representing the intrinsic substrate dissociation constant of a site sketcher plot therefore which is used for enzyme and its ligand interaction or biomolecule and its ligand interaction is a plot of ratios of concentration of bound ligand to unbound ligand versus bound ligand so when you want to calculate the dissociation constant or binding affinity of a ligand then what we are going to do is we are performing an experiment where we are going to add some substrate or ligand to a biomolecule and we are monitoring uh, what is the concentration of bound ligand and what is concentration of free ligand so how we are calculating the concentration of bound ligand because it is very difficult to calculate the concentration of bound ligand so what we are going to do is we are taking the total concentration of the ligand and after some time the reaction is initiated we are calculating what is a free ligand concentration that is remain in that reacting system and if you subtract 
the free enzyme free ligand from total ligand then you will find what is the bound ligand concentration so if you have the bound ligand concentration and if you have the free ligand concentration that will help you to make a d sketcher plot and from a d sketcher plot you can calculate the binding affinity of your ligand it is also interesting to note that in enzyme kinetic reaction it is sketched plot is always straight line but when you're talking about ligand biomolecule interaction it is not the case always so if the binding data is not in a straight line it shows that your ligand biomolecule interaction is cooperative in nature and ligand which is bound to the biomolecule is not allowed to achieve equilibrium so therefore you can say that it is sketcher plot when you're talking about enzyme kinetics is removing the problem of reversibility but at the same time it is developed to monitor the biomolecule ligand interaction which is having a number of significances starting from drug designing to receptor ligand interaction to any other biomolecule ligand interaction so students let's summarize what we have learned in this module so we have learned different kinetic parameter determination methods the first we have learned what are the equations for different methods that are used to determine kinetic parameters so first we have discussed about line weaver plot so line weaver plot is derived from mekeles menten equation so we have the line weaver plot and based on the different components and straight line equation that is y is equal to mx plus c we will we have the plot of line weaver plot and then we have also discussed how we can determine the kinetic parameters using line weaver plot not only that we have also discussed how you can determine the type of inhibition the mode of a action of inhibitor by using line weaver plot we have also highlighted the significances of line weaver plot we have also highlighted what is the limitation of the plot we also highlighted when you are performing a experiment for line weaver plot you have to put substrate concentration close to the cam we have also discussed if you are deviating your substrate concentration away from the cam what will happen and we have also discussed how we can determine the dissociation constant of an enzyme inhibition we have discussed when we are working with the line weaver plot which is also known as double reciprocal plot where all the values are reciprocal in nature so that causes some problem for us so that is mod that problem is rectified by other plots such as id hopsty plot and sketcher plot so these are the plots where the reciprocal problem of line weaver plot is rectified therefore we can say that the determination of kinetic parameters can be achieved majorly by line weaver plot but remember remembering the points which is responsible for limitation of line weaver plot at the same time id hopsty plot and sketcher plot give you better as a result but because of the simplicity in calculation it is a line weaver plot that is most diverse and most widely used plot at the same time we have also discussed 
how you can modify sketch or plot to calculate the binding affinity of a biomolecule with its specific ligand. So, therefore, you can say that the methods which are used to determine the kinetic parameter are very important for us and it is mandatory to know if you want to study enzyme kinetics. Thank you.